What's up guys, it's me your badass host Draven and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we won our fifth badge. Yes, we did it. And, uh, well, believe it or not guys, it is now side quest time. And we're taking a boatload of them because, well, we got a lot of stuff to take care of on the west side. We will be going to the east side pretty soon here. But the west side, you know, west side, we need to get there. Anywho... In our last episode, we want our fifth badge, and now we are a, we are able to go anywhere with the surf technique, literally anywhere. And so, what I'm gonna do right here, guys, is we're gonna be going towards places that we can't go, that require surf, and of course, we're gonna be going straight to the desert because, well, we need to go to the desert and and figure out what's going on there. So here is the surf technique, and we're gonna give this to Hydra for the time being because, well. You know, we're so close. So close to the east side. I might be changing up some Pokemon. Don't worry. Hydro will not be on the team. He's just there for, you know, surf purposes and then just growing and all that stuff. But So as you guys can see, we can actually surf now. And we will be finding some hidden items elsewhere where there's surf to be done and all that crud. And, uh, well, let's see... We're going to be finding a lot of these places right here. And the other thing that you guys should notice is once you get the Surf Technique, Pokemon will pop up from the sea and you will be able to try and capture them right there. So, yeah, we do not have somebody that knows Rock Smash. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I took him out. Hmm. Anywho, I'll be right back with you guys. I got to... I gotta grab something. Alrighty, so we're back, and well, we got Lanoon back because, well, it knows Rock Smash. And the funny thing is, it can actually learn Surf as well. So, I guess, I guess that right there helps us out just a little bit. Anywho, we're gonna be going straight to the desert right here because, well, we kinda need to. Now that we got the Go Go goggles on, we are able to go through this whole location, and remember, the way you get a Go Go Goggles is by defeating Flannery, and then you'll be finding May. She'll be giving them to you. Of course, we didn't go right here because, well, yeah, yeah, we needed a, we needed to take care of business. And I see a Pokemon popping up right here. Now I'm gonna take these off because, well, we kind of need this, and it looks like to me it's a Bull Toy. So, let's go right ahead and take on Boltoy. Look at this guy right here. Okay. So, Boltoy is a psychic and I believe a ground type Pokemon. This guy will evolve into a tank of a Pokemon later on down the line. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to use a Blaze Kick and uh, there we go. Boltoy, we're just going to mess with you. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Boltoy defeated. Okay, so there are quite a few things that you can actually do right here, guys. Find some items, which, you know, if you guys have the the item finder that right there with you, you will be able to find some interesting Pokemon, such as Boltoy itself. Also, you guys gotta realize this. It is there is a sandstorm kicking up. If you don't have a rock, ground, or steel type Pokemon, your Pokemon will get hurt. It will. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to switch it up to... I don't have a ground-type Pokemon. Good gravy. Okay, so that right there is on me. That's on me. Anywho, maximum effort. Now, there is going to be a slope right here. If we go up top, which, you know, I did switch up bikes before we came over here. There's going to be an individual right here. Now, I'm going to save her for later on because she is important to a little task that we got going on down the road, too. Trust me, guys, it is going to help us out when it comes to, you know, when it comes to maneuvering around here. So, let's go right ahead and take on another trainer right here. See what his name is. His name is Adaisku, or Doisuke, or Daisuke, or Daisuke, or whatever. You know what? It's Daisuke. And, yes, he is going to be now with his macho. So, let's go right ahead and continue on right here. Gaia's tracing. Gaia's using the gets. And Gaia... He's going to use the Psychic just for the win. Oh my god. Total abuse right there. Yes. So, there you go. We got another victory. Everybody's getting experience points. And Daisuke has been defeated. So, the cool thing about this, guys, is that I have... Uh, you know, 
I've been thinking about it for quite some time too. Yes, I am going to try and start using some, you know, some more different Hoenn Pokemon right here. There are quite a few Pokemon that I that you know has caught my attention when it comes to trying to capture a Pokemon here and there. So don't be too surprised if we switch up a Pokemon right here later on. Now, if you guys can see, there are two fossils right here. What's going to happen is that you got a root fossil and let's see you got yourself a claw fossil obviously the claw fossil is a little bit more popular if you take this fossil no doubt the other one will sink into the sand so what's going to happen is i'm going to take the root fossil since in pokemon omega ruby the one that i'm playing right now i've taken the claw fossil we'll we'll have both of them at the same time right there and after grabbing one fossil bam the other one disappears and i don't think you can actually find it later on in the in the uh, the the digger's place or something like that so let's see we're looking at an item right here there should be an item right here somewhere okay hidden right here and we are gonna find ourselves a revive so let's see it looks like to me there are about four pokemon right here that you can find Obviously, one of those Pokemon have been in my teams, especially in Pokemon Omega Ruby back when I played it. And yeah, no, that's not that, that's not a Pokemon I'm gonna I'm gonna bring into my team. I would love to, but I'm not. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna psychic away with everything. I think later on I'm just gonna capture everybody right here. So there we go, psychic attack for the win, and there goes another Pokemon. So. Let's see. Hmm. You know what? A repel? A repel goes a long way right here. So let's go right ahead and use some of these repels and just move on. So like I was saying, guys, yes, there will be there will be some side questing from here. Um Well, there's there's gonna be quite a few side questings and all that stuff. And uh is it episode padding? Maybe. But in this walkthrough right here, I like I really do want to make it. I, I really do want to make it more informational and all that stuff because I know that I left out quite a few things over in Omega Ruby. That kind of want to redeem myself right here. So I'm kind of saying that like maybe this walkthrough right here will will be more than 50 episodes because the newer walkthroughs I think I finished them before like 50 episodes, which is pretty cool pretty fantastic and all that stuff so that's another victory for us and I'm just gonna keep on walking away or running away and here we're gonna find some more people so before we do anything we are finding an item right here and there we go we found ourselves a PP up and well let's go right ahead and take on this kid see what he's all about maybe I should start defeating everybody in just one blow because well yeah <laughs> I, I don't get hit a lot by any kind of, uh, what was it called? Um, I don't get hit a lot by any kind of sand. So here we're taking on Camper Drew, and he is going to be coming out with a, a Graveler. And it's obvious to me that this Graveler has a sturdy technique. So yeah, we're going to... Yeah, we're definitely... Yeah, he, he does have sturdy. Okay, so... We're going we're gonna to hit him twice because, well, either way you look at it, he's not going to go, go down easily. So here comes a... Here comes a rock throw, and well, let's go right ahead and let's go straight for a psychic attack. And that right there finishes off Graveler. Alrighty. Okay. And that's how you do the job right there. And Camper Drew, not so happy. You should have came in with Go Go Goggles, homeboy. Okay, so let's go south right here. And turns it looks like to me we got an item right here protein so you you know of course you're in the you're in a uh, what was it called um you're in a desert so you're gonna be finding a lot of uh yeah you're gonna be finding a lot of uh minerals right here and yeah we got we got some more items right here let's see where is it there you are okay so we found ourselves a rare candy that right there is also so uh, big. That, that's also very big for us. And yeah, I'm going to try and capture a ball toy right here because these guys are calling my name out. They're like, come on, Draven. You know you need us. And this guy has rocked him. So yeah, try not to let it disappear. The Pokemon that like usually come up and down from these areas, 
they're usually the ones that like mess with you all the way and as you can see this guy is running away so make sure that you know once you see its full head you try and capture it so there we go there we go okay so he has looked for us and here we have a ball toy yes I am planning on capturing this Pokemon. Not for, you know, the team and everything, but I just want to ca capture it for our collection right here. So let's go right ahead and use BAM. That and. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. Ha! Never mind. Okay, so that right there was uh, no good. Okay, so let's go right ahead and move on just a little bit. Let's go ahead and put on another repel. And. Well. There's, yeah, these ball toys are just coming out of nowhere, so you gotta stay away from them right here. And look for more of these items. And, well, let's see. Yeah. Right here, okay. Good God, okay, so let's see. Where are you? Where are you? Okay. Okay, not right there. There you go, okay, so it's down the middle. Here we found ourselves a Stardust. Which is always great. And, well, these Pokemon trainers are ready for, for us uh, for a battle right here. So, let's go ahead and switch out to Olay. And uh, see what happens right here. So, like I said, guys, I am planning on grabbing some more Pokemon. Being a little more strategic and all that stuff. So, here we go. Taking on another, uh, another trainer. And, well, look at this. Picnicker Becky coming out with a Cacnea. This is an interesting Pokemon. I don't think you can capture this Pokemon in this in, in this version. I could be wrong. So we're gonna be going with an Earth Power right here, and just like that, Cacnea gets hit, but it's not very effective. So a Fate Attack hits us. Not that great. There we go. We're both getting hit by. Oh, actually, Cacnea doesn't get hit by a Sandstorm. <laughs> okay, I see how it is. It's because of that. And wow. This Pokemon right here is, uh, what was it called, uh, is getting, a uh... yeah, okay, so it looks like to me we're not going to beat this Pokemon anytime soon, so let's go straight to Tommy JDF, may he rest in peace right here, and, well, let's see, he's coming out with, bam, another hit, a faint attack, and there's a Sandstorm getting hit, and that Cacnea is getting, uh, you know, the nutrients and all that stuff from its roots. So, let's go straight for a Blaze Kick. For the win. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. How are you speedy? And, yeah. Come on. Okay, so that's, this Cacnea right here is getting on my god dang nerves. Okay, so let's go again. Blaze Kick. And this Pokemon is just avoiding attacks. Okay, another critical hit. Yeah, we're getting messed up. And this Cacnea is just living his life. So let's go ahead and try this one more time. Oh my god. Okay, so... I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay, and we just stop healing up. Okay, we're gonna go with Aerial Ace because it does not miss. God damn you, Blaze Kick. Eat this, Aerial Ace, for the win. You see how easy that would have been? It would have been easy, but no. I had to make it hard, as always. And Olay grows to level 39, and Shadow Eye grows to level 31, and is learning Confuse Ray. Hmm. I'm okay with the moves that this Shadow Eye has right here, so I'm just gonna keep the old moves. And yes, we did not do that. And Gaia grows to level 34. And, well, let's go ahead and move on to the next best thing right here. Like finding some more items or beating this guy right here. And, of course, he has 30 years of, of experience and all that stuff. So, here we go. Take it on Ru Ruin Maniac Dusty. Of course, his name is Dusty. And he's coming out with his good old sand or ball toy right here. So, let's go straight for Le Bubbly Beam. And just like that, Le Bubbly Beam works. Okay. Alrighty. And Lanoon, without doing anything, is learning uh, Slash. Unfortunately, we can't teach any moves to this Pokemon no more because, well, we just taught it four HMs. That is hilarious. 
And here comes a Sand Slash, so let's go right ahead and take what's ours. Let's go and beat this Pokemon with a Razor Leaf Attack. And, of course, it, it gets avoided. So, Crush Claw hits us, and that right there makes our defense fall. Wow, we are getting smacked. We are getting smacked. So, here we go. The Bubbly Beam attack. And, look at this. Bubbly Beam does its trick. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. That's how you do it. And, just like that, Ruin Maniac has been defeated. Yes, I'm feeling happy about that. Okay, so I got a little too cocky, a little too quickly, so I should probably fix that. And yes, ball toys are just infested right here. Now, if you guys could see, this area will be of uh, special importance later on in our adventure. Not right now, but just a little bit later on. And if you go further right here, you're going to be finding yourself in a TM. And that right there is the TM-37, which is Sandstorm. That will be useful if you're trying to use some kind of weather effects onto your opponent. And, yes, I do want to get away from uh, the, the repelling and all that stuff. So, yeah, we haven't battled this dude yet. Let's go right ahead and switch out to Thunderball and grab this, grab an item. And we found ourselves a Wide Lens. Oh, wow. Okay, so the Wide Lens was Shadow Ball. I was looking at Lanoon. What the hell was I thinking? Check this. And we found ourselves a Repel. We have to get back that those Wide Lenses. Now, for those who don't know, a wide lens right here is an item held by a Pokemon. It's it is a magnif or magnifying lens that slightly boosts the accuracy of moves. So that right there is very useful for you know difficult situations and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and battle this guy. I get it, okay? You're trying to show me how much uh, you like goggles, right? It, I get it, okay? And here we get ourselves some safety goggles. That right there is you can protect yourself from all kinds of stuff with safety goggles. Even though these things I'm wearing look like glasses, they're actually goggles. Now, the safety goggles right here are for Pokemon in particular, an item to be held by a Pokemon. These goggles protect the holder from weather base or weather related damage and powder. So, for instance, Sandstorm, Hail. Yeah, so that could be a very, very, very strategic thing right there. So what's going to happen now, guys, is we're going to get the heck out of here from the desert. And, well, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. There's nothing nothing right there. We're going to be making a stop right here into our secret base. Yes, we have not switched it yet. But anywho, in the next episode, guys, we will be going to... Well, we're going to be taking another small side quest, see where it lies... I don't know. Wherever the wind takes us, we will go. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I'll see you guys in the next episode of our Pokemon Alpha Salva walkthrough. See you guys.